Well, Greg, thanks for uh, talking today a little bit more about um, the topic of access control. Yeah, it's and my RF, pleasure. Yeah, and RFID, and and maybe we maybe we could talk a little bit about that application in general and how we can integrate uh, our RFID solutions and uh, some of the advantages or reasons why customers are looking to go this route. Absolutely. Uh, customers are moving towards utilizing uh, RFID for access control, um, especially in the food environment that's becoming more, more important in that they're not wanting unauthorized people to be having access to different layers of machine control. So here we have examples of our uh, stick-on RFID tag It's part of the M series and you can allocate by employee different layers or levels of access and how we would integrate that into the control architecture we have a number of choices either we can use an RFID antenna with with uh, built-in controller inside inside the uh, read write antenna or as in this case we're using RFID back through IO link so, so if, if I were to take one of these badges and go over the reader here it it changes the access in the panel exactly and this well, the way you're describing it is our reader is actually connected back into the PLC Right. So in this in this instance, there's no need because we're going through IO Link. There's no need for a separate controller that's using up a separate IP address. Uh, we're simply tying through a normal cord set back to the IO Link master, and then that's depositing the data directly into the bitmap of of the PLC. Oh, perfect. And I think you had meant you were mentioning too about the badges and the the tags and so um, typically I, I believe that most customers have a brand of access to get in and out of the building they use a company called HID for their tags and I you were mentioning earlier or before our discussion now about how companies are, are looking at it trying to incorporate our solution with that yes so instead of having two different uh, sign-in devices. Every employee has an HID card, as you mentioned, to access the building and to exit the building. So this solution, we're simply taking the asset they already have, placing the stick-on tag onto that HID card, and now the customer can, can customize the access for those employees into the particular pieces of capital equipment that they choose. Well, that's great, and, and if I understand correctly, if an operator tries to take this off, it'll self-destruct so that they can't try to give different people access that shouldn't have it. Right, and I'm also less likely to give you my HID card because now I have no means to exit the building early. <laughs> right. and. Uh, you know, I know you've had, uh, in particular, um, some customer experience or uh, application of this, and you know, what were some of the reasons why that particular customer decided to um, implement this solution? Um, really, uh, ease of use. They're already utilizing um, uh, Balif IO Link, um, and this this solution would tie in with with an IO Link solution, with our uh, RFID reader that is IO Link on board. Um, so there's no real extra hardware besides the antenna uh, that they would need to purchase. Well, good. And so I think new applications and retrofits are a good uh, opportunity for implementation? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, retrofits would be ideal um, if they have a, an existing control architecture that's using IO Link. Um, they have that option to use that. If they're using Profinet and not IO Link, we can use our self-contained antennas. The same applies for Ethernet IP. Well, great. 
Well, Greg, again, thank you very much. And RFID access control solutions with Bala. Great, thank you.